Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we are going old school, going back to my roots with a good old fashioned Yankee Candle haul. Now, uh, Yankee Candle and I have a love-hate relationship. Yankee Candle, if you remember, I've been on YouTube since I was 11 or 12 years old. So I turned 26 this year. So I've been on YouTube for a very long time. I was on Tosh.0 when I was 13. I've done multiple interviews, been on different TV channels, and I've been on different internet vlogs about my love for Yankee Candle. And I was known for many, many years as the Yankee Candle Kid. And... Yankee Candle still holds a special place in my heart, even though the brand has changed drastically in the years that I remember buying them when they used to do really awesome small collections and the scents were amazing. But one thing about Yankee Candle is their authenticity to true to life fragrances have not changed. And there's still something so nostalgic about smelling the old school Yankee Candles. And some of the new fragrances still feel old school. So the thing with Yankee Candle though, I mean, who would have ever thought in 2023, that this would be the standard signature Yankee Candle. Crazy, right? I mean, I know that this still is the signature Yankee Candle, the classic large jar. They definitely have evolved over the years. I mean, I remember when it was the huge deal that the label changed to a smaller label. And then don't get me started on smooth wax. And when like the smooth wax transitioned to the large tumblers, which have almost completely phased out, it's just really crazy. I mean, I remember the Halloween collections and the bony bunch when I used to wait in line at like midnight to get the Halloween line and the tarts and the really cute tea light hanging tart warmers. Nostalgic Yankee Candle. And now Yankee Candle's been sold. The own the founder, I mean, he passed away a few years ago from cancer. And now Mick, his son, owns Kringle Candle, which are top tier gold when it comes to candles. I love Yank I love Kringle Candle. But there is something still super nostalgic about Yankee Candle, and I will say, I've been burning this signature two wick, and the signatures, I've said before, when they hit about the halfway mark is when I start to not love them, but I joined a Facebook group that is like some tips and tricks candles, and I've gotten some tips and tricks, so I'm going to try them again some more, but I've been burning this one from the new spring line. So good. I'll explain it in a little bit. It is throwing so well in my bedroom. Like, compared to other brands, like, this candle is throwing so well. I'm so impressed. But anyway, this all prompted because of a broken item that I received from Amazon. I ordered a tart warmer that everybody was talking about on Amazon. One of the Julie Ann Home halogen warmers, and it arrived broken. And if you take it to Kohl's, you get like a $5 Kohl's cash. And I never shop at Kohl's. It's just not a sh store that I really have any interest in shopping in, never have. And I was like, what am I going to use this on? So I was browsing, nothing hit me. And then the Yankee Candle Signature New Spring Medium Jars were on sale for, I think, $17.99. I had the $5 Kohl's cash, and then I had a 15% off Kohl's email, and I was like, wow, look at that, and it applied to Yankee Candle. So I was like, let me just get one, see what it's like. I could not leave without these three, you guys. I just couldn't do it. I was smelling them back and forth, and then this one I really wanted, but they didn't have it in the store, so I went to the Yankee Candle store, ended up having a buy free, get three free coupon, and I actually had some rewards from when I was buying Yankee Candle last year. And now I have nine Yankee Candles to talk about. Okay, Siri. But anyway, I went ahead and printed off the scent notes online. So without further ado, let's do an old-fashioned Yankee Candle haul. Starting off with the one that I've been burning, Art in the Park. So this is the theme for the new spring collection, the Art in the Park collection. So Art in the Park reads Green Apple, Violet, Water Lily, Jasmine, Rose, Ylang Ylang, 
sandalwood, cedarwood, and sheer musk. Let me tell you guys, this is so pretty. It is definitely rose and green apple forward. To my nose, like a really, really pretty, fresh, like you're blooming, like the, like, okay. To me, Art in the Park, I don't know why, but I'm immediately thought of uh, Mary Poppins. Like that scene in Mary Poppins where Bert is painting the chalkboard painting, and then Mary Poppins, Bert, and the kids jump into the painting. That is immediately what I'm thinking of when I see this. And for some reason, I don't know if that's just, because that's what I'm imagining. That's what I picture. I picture spring flowers in bloom. I picture that it might have just rained earlier in the day. And you have like from the water lily and the sandalwood and the ylang ylang. That it's just very, very green and really fresh and crisp. It's so pretty. I really, really like this one. And I've been burning this in my bedroom. I've burned it two times already. Four hours each. And I actually use my Alexa to... Um, make sure that I like set a timer for four hours and then I'm able to burn the candle. And that way after four hours, I blow it out and then I keep tracks. This has burned for eight hours so far and I still have a good bit left. And you can see that's where the wax pool was the last time, but really like this really green, really fresh and floral. So really impressed with this. And the throw has been great. Next cucumber mint cooler. So we have Cucumber Mint Cooler, and I really like the Signature Jar look. I think they look really, really nice. I've just, they've been temperamental, so we'll see. This is Lemon, Eucalyptus, Orange, Spearmint, Grapefruit, Cucumber, Jasmine, Slowberries, and White Musk. And I googled Slowberries, S-L-O-E. They're like a cross between like a Blackberry and a Mulberry, I believe. This is so pretty. For one... There's no effervescence, because I know sometimes when you think of, like, drink scents, you think of, like, that effervescence, that sparkliness. This just smells like beautiful infused cucumber mint water. That's really what I get from it. I'm not getting a lot of eucalyptus or anything like that. I'm definitely just getting really crisp cucumber mint water. And I think this is going to be great for the bathroom, great for a living room, great for when you have guests over. I'm really impressed with this one. I really just like the way that it blends. It's really nice for spring. Uh, I'm not getting much of like grapefruit, orange, or jasmine. Like I said, I'm really just getting like a fresh cucumber mint water. Really, really impressed by that one. Now this one, my bakery loving heart is all over this one. Chocolate chip cannoli. And how delicious does that look? This is granulated sugar, chocolate chips, cookie accord, roasted pistachio, sugared vanilla, heavy cream, and crushed cannoli shell. Now, it immediately it smells like a chocolate chip cannoli. Like, I look at this picture... Absolutely. You know how a cannoli cream is a lot lighter, but it's a little bit sweeter? Because whenever you eat it, it sets it apart from other pastries. This totally smells like a chocolate chip cannoli. I will say it is pretty light. The, th the I don't the, on cold throw it's light, but I also thought the art in the park was pretty light too, and the throw really impressed me. So I'm excited to light this up and see how it goes. But on cold, it smells like a true chocolate chip cannoli. I'm beyond impressed at how they captured that. But again, this is how Yankee Candle is full of authenticity. You really, really can get those authentic chocolate chip, the cannoli shell. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yankee Candle knocked it out of the park with that one. All right, now moving on to the large jars. Now, the large jars now retail, I think, for $34. It's crazy. I got them buy three, get three free. So I still spent some change, but I got three for free. So it was just a five. Now, this guy, I feel like this scent... You either love it or hate it. This is Iced Banana Pop. Look at that juicy, juicy label. And the notes are banana cream, iced cold lemon, lime, banana ice sorbet, chocolate, and vanilla. This is so good. The thing with Yankee Candles, I don't want to say they're not super complex, but there's not a lot of depth to them. But it's just so real. Like, you smell it? It smells like a banana popsicle. Absolutely, like a chocolate-dipped banana popsicle. But the chocolate is not super chocolate-forward. It's definitely more like an iced banana popsicle with just a 
light dip of chocolate. But I will say, like, if you're not a chocolate fan, I think you still will like it. So pretty. Oh, my gosh. And I know, like, a banana scent's pretty. It is. And it is truly an authentic banana popsicle, which generally is, like, artificial, like, banana popsicles. But, oh, this is all... These all four are new in the spring line. There was also Twilight Tunes. It really was super, super light. and didn't impress me. It was, like, Colony, but... This is so good. This is so good. I cannot wait to lay this up, but I am saving this for the summer. I love a good banana color, too. And, like, look at that color. It is pure banana. <gasps> I love. So excited. All right. Next is just one from their regular signature line, but I've never smelled it. Or I've never tried it either. Tangerine Vanilla. And I was, like, aimlessly walking through the store, and I'm like, what am I going to pick up? The color, the fragrance, it all just intrigued me. And this guy is Sparkling Tangerine, Mandarin Bellini, Orchard Nectarine, Rose, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugar. This is so pretty. It is definitely tangerine versus like a Satsuma or an orange or a grapefruit or a clementine. This is definitely tangerine. It's very, very sweet, but very bright. Now, to me, I do get a little bit of effervescence in here, unlike the other ones. This is so nice. This is so creamy vanilla tangerine. Like, as the name suggests, it really is like a creamy citrus, and I'm obsessed. I love this scent, you guys. I think this is going to be perfect after you clean just to freshen up the house, but still make it smell like you're burning something delicious. This is so yummy, and I just love the color. I love this, like, peachy color. It's so pretty. So not a super big description, but it's tangerine vanilla. So really excited on that one. Next. Okay. So this line. <laughs> this is now called the wellness line, I believe. I can't remember what this line is called. It used to be, years ago, they had, like, the Pure Radiance line, which I loved the Pure Radiance. I thought they were beautiful. Then they did the Pure Radiance Woodwick. Then they did the Elevation line, which I really like those fragrances. The Elevation line, they knocked out of the park. Now it's the Wellness line, so it looks very similar to the Elevation. So you have this wooden lid. It says Yankee Candle right there. You take the lid off. There's a little step stool here. There's grooves here, and it simply sits on there, and you burn the candle like so. Now this is a new fragrance for spring. Wholesome Apple and Sweet berry. Now, I will say, this is double wicked, but the container is a square. As you know, wax pools form in circles, so whenever this burns the first couple times, you are going to get a little bit of stuck on the edges. That's normal, a little bit of hang up, but because the jar is tapered down and it gets shorter at the bottom, it does eventually catch up and you do get a completely burned candle. I have an elevation candle here, Tonka Bean and Pumpkin. It is the best pumpkin scent I've ever had in my life, and I will not burn it because I just love smelling it. But I'm excited for this one. I love the packaging. I love the color. Super juicy. And the notes on this read, Macintosh apple, citrus zest, acai berry, cranberry, dewy floral, orchard woods, and sheer musk. And this does. It smells like a bright Macintosh apple with a hint of berry. <sighs> It really says acai berry and cranberry, but yeah, it is like a tart sweet berry with that bright juicy apple. This is nice. This will be really, really nice for the spring. And like I said, I love these candles when company comes over. I love these candles for like the bedroom. They really do set a mood and they really do just elevate the space. I know they're not called elevations anymore, but like there's like a lavender sea salt that's amazing. There's like a honey and vanilla that I really like, but I really love the look. I like how upscale they look. I mean, and they are $34 now, so it's not like they're cheap candles. I mean, candles everywhere are getting more expensive, but really like this one. Excited to try that new line from Yankee. And now on to some classic jars. Now this guy, if you've been around for a while, you know. I mean, this candle came out in 2010. Soft blanket. 
Guys, there is nothing like soft blanket or fluffy towels. Vendors have tried to duplicate the fluffy towels oil and none of them come close. None of them come close. Fluffy towels is something spectacular as well as soft blanket. And when I saw this come back, the best bedroom scent. To me, it definitely leans more towards a bedroom scent or an office scent because it's so calming than a bathroom scent. It's not as fresh and clean as I would like. And this is bergamot, citrus, blackberry, cashmere vanilla, powdery rose, tobacco flower, amber, cocoa, and musk. And you guys, I need a minute. I may pick up a few more of these just for nostalgic reasons. It just smells like you are the most comforted. You get the blackberry, cashmere vanilla, is just super sophisticated. You can truly smell the warm fabric of the cashmere when you sniff this. It's so pretty. I love this so much. If you've never smelled Soft Blanket, even if you don't want to buy it, just get to Yankee Candle and smell it. It's so, so pretty. It's warm. It's comforting. It's soothing. It's If you're ever having a bad day, coming home and lighting or at least sniffing a Soft Blanket candle just makes me so happy. So super excited to have a new soft blanket in my collection. Next, for spring, lilac blossoms. Now this was available in Signature, but I have so much lilac wax that I wanted to get this to burn to go throughout it. And there's something about a lilac candle in the spring when the windows are open and you just get that light waft of lilacs. Beautiful. Now this is where I say, Yankee Candle and Authenticity. This is Dewey Green's Water Lily, Bergamot, Lilac Petals, Hyacinth, Tulip Bulbs, Cedar Leaf, Vetiver, and Moss. It is this picture. Okay? It is a lilac bush. Straight up a lilac bush. And look at the oils in here. Look at that beautiful purple wax. Now, this is not the soft wax. This is the paraffin or the mottled wax. Definitely want to use an aluminum lid on top of here. Let it burn for at least four hours. Let it burn all the way down. But there is nothing like <sighs> lilac blossoms. I feel like people, even if you're not a floral person, you still love lilacs. It just smells so pretty. And like, not that pink lilac and vanilla nonsense from Bath & Butter, except it smells like bubble gum. This smells like true fresh lilacs. Love this. Always have it. There's nothing like a lilac. And then last but not least, I've already been burning it. So excited to see this. Summer Scoop. You guys know if you're into vendor wax, a lot of dupes for this. This is the original Summer Scoop. Pink cotton candy, strawberry berries, sponge sugar, praline, and vanilla. Okay, it's the best strawberry ice cream you've ever smelled in your life. It truly is melty, rich strawberry ice cream. No waffle cone, no toppings, just rich, like this picture, strawberry ice cream. Again, Yankee Candle with authenticity. That's my word for this day. Authenticity and Yankee Candle strikes again. Or strikes again. Hits again with the authentic authenticity. I've been burning this one. There's a little bit of wax hanging up on the side there. But I've been burning this a couple times. And Yankee Candle large jars burn for up to 150 hours. So definitely worth it if you get a buy one, get one free. I love Summer Scoop. Oh, so happy to have this in my collection again. And again, I just feel so nostalgic. Even though they don't look like they used to, there is still something so nostalgic about a Yankee Candle. And I will be getting the Kringle New Spring Candles because they're just amazing and they also feel like home with Yankee, but they perform way better. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, what are some of your favorite Yankee Candles? Nostalgic or new? Have you smelled any of the new spring scents? Do you want to try any of the new spring scents? Definitely let me know down below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world, and I love you all so much. Be kind. Bye, guys.